friends welcome back to my channel this is Betty owner and creator of Betty's custom designs here on Etsy YouTube Facebook TikTok, and Instagram and I am out of my comfort zone completely right now I have accepted Melina's challenge and girl, Melina, 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 we need to have a chat, sister. Oh my God, I don't know. I, this is just like so out of my comfort zone. But I guess that's a good thing. Um, I haven't started my timer yet because oh, she said we have 30 minutes and that doesn't include cutting and inking and uh Oh, Lord, I don't know. I don't even know what color I want to do. <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm a little stressed? Yeah, I mean, um, give me, you know, digital something and I can go to town. But this is just, uh, it's killing me. And because this is a challenge, if my dogs start barking, y'all just gonna have to do... So we know that's probably gonna happen. And see, I don't even know, look, look at all these things, because I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll get the timer going. I may as well get it done and, oh, okay, Melina, girl, you better know I love you. Because let me tell you. Okay, I'm trying to get my, iPad to work with me here. So where is my timer? Okay. I've never set a timer on here. Okay, so we'll do one, two, 30 minutes. Can I cheat and put an hour in 30 minutes? <laughs> there we go, folks. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to like layer stuff on top of this and she said she wants to see the um, the little snippet as well and so I do have some um, book pages here and what did I do with my labels okay yeah and I have labels um, a bunch of labels these are some that um, some of these are already in my shop. Some of them are not, but they will be. Um, so I guess I am just going to kind of see. I'm already having trouble. Yep, just that quick, having trouble. How difficult should this be to just choose a book page? Oh my God. Okay, y'all, we're going to, you know, this is going to be a, Quite hilarious actually um, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing on this I don't know I, I make tags and stuff and I'll do them in like um, kind of like a mass make type thing but I don't know it's just when, I, when I'm having to think about it it's just like uh yeah, it is getting the best of me. And I can't let it get the best of me. I mean, okay, so let me see. Okay, I think this, and where to go? Okay, I think this one right here will be perfect. It says I can and I will. So, Melina, I can, I think I can, and I will. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I'm telling you, this is like uh, majorly out of my comfort zone. And I don't know where my little fussy cut scissors went. So I'm just having to. And the thing is, I have the Brother Scan and Cut, but I literally just got these created today. So I haven't even had a chance to get them on the Scan and Cut. but it's given me a couple minutes to kind of gather my thoughts and figure out what I'm gonna do. So I'm just acting like, you know, it's taking me a little bit longer to fussy cut. I mean, it probably is, but I'm 
I'm really honestly trying to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, and all transparency there. Yeah. And I do have some lace over here. I think I have a little. There's my. Hey, guess what? Y'all can stop looking. I found my scissors. <laughs> um, I do have a little piece of lace right here that I think I'm just going to cut a little piece off of. All I'm gonna do there. We know what happened to my little piece of paper. There we go. And I can put that right there. I don't really know if that color goes good with it. I might should have went with the other color. Probably should have went with the green. But you know what? Actually, I have these. I wonder if these are too big. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's go with one of these. Let's go with dedication. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm sorry if I am getting off screen. I am trying to get this crazy thing where I can see. Yeah, so, oh. I know I just need to stop stressing and just get it done. So I'm gonna actually cut inside the blue um, since it is going on a small snippet. And this, um, these, the labels um, are, some of these are in my um, Etsy shop already. Um, and then I have gone back through and I have, um, some of them have different colors. And if they are not already in my Etsy shop, they will be in there hopefully today. Um, okay, yes, I definitely like that better. We'll ink it up a little bit, maybe a lot of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little bit of ink on that um, lace. I don't like how white that lace is. And then I'm gonna get my fabric tack. I have it in this sugar bell bottle, but I had it stored wrong, so it may, hopefully it's not, but it, there's a possibility it could be stopped up, but it doesn't look like it is. Thank you, sugar bell. All right, so I'm going to put that down, then I'm going to put this down. Yeah, so, um... For all you other folks doing this challenge, y'all just have patience with me because I'm a little challenged at this challenge. <laughs> yes, I'm used to working with digitals. And so, I, I mean, I, I love doing this part of it too, like the crafting part. But I've been doing so many digitals lately that I just haven't... Um, I really haven't done a lot of crafting um, because I have been doing the digitals, which I don't mind. I love doing them. Um, look at there. I've got glue strung all over me. All right. I am going to pull. I've seen one of these I wanted to use. I'm going to use one of these. Um, these are some. I will have some of these in my Etsy shop um, shortly. It may be a week or so on these. I'm just tearing this a little bit because just like with my digital papers, I really don't like that hard um, edge that's so visible. Um, I do like for it to be just a little bit, I don't know, just kind of look happenstance. And I'm going to do the same thing on this. Okay, now let me ink this up. And I am using the um, new Salvage Patina by um, Tim Holtz. And I believe Melina said that they have some in their um, shop. 
And if they still have some in their shop, let me tell you, you need to go get this stuff. It is beautiful. It is just, it's like the perfect color. Um, it's not too dark of a blue, but at the same time, it's enough blue. Um, I really like this color. So, definitely if you haven't already got it, you need to go get it. Now let's see, do we want to go with, why don't, why don't we go with a number? Oh, I'm feeling brave, you guys. Ooh, ooh. I'm feeling brave, but brave. Let me see, do I have a 23? I have a 23, we have to go with 23 because that's what I tell everybody that my age is. Mm -hmm. I just have anniversaries of my birthday now because I still want to get gifts. So everybody, my 23rd, my anniversary of my 23rd birthday is September 20th. If you want to send me a gift, please feel free. No, I'm kidding. I'm really kidding. I really am. Now, however, if you want to make a donation to a um, local food bank or um, foster care program for my birthday, I will absolutely be tickled to death about that. Um, yes. So, since I mentioned foster care, I will, while I'm fussy cutting this, I will take this moment to talk to you guys. If you have ever thought about being a foster parent, please give it some thought. Um, this world needs a lot more foster mom and dads that are good. My second daughter, um, she is a divorced foster mom. She's been divorced a few years now. Um, but she fosters, and she adopted her son, my grandson, a little over a year ago through the foster system. So, just had to throw that in. Always looking, they're always looking for good foster families. Okay, now that looks a little too washed out. So maybe I do need something with a little color. All right, Melina, what do I do? Melina, Melina, Melina. <laughs> Y'all, I'm really not that crazy. Maybe I am. I'm just gonna do it like that. Are we gonna act like it looks good? Because I'm running out of time and I'm, we gonna pretend and y'all just, y'all make sure y'all tell me how pretty my little, my little snippets looked, okay? Even if they don't look good, y'all at least make me feel better. Tell me how beautiful they are. Tell me how beautiful they are and how, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're not 23. I really thought you were 23. Yeah, please feel free to say all those. Hush, Shell, hush, hush, hush. I can hear my buddy Shell already. Hey, y'all, look, I do have two done. Where are we at on time? Where are we at? Okay, I'm wasting time trying to look and see how much time. Oh, man, okay, I've got 18 more minutes. Okay, I might get three done. All right, so now what do we want to do? Oh, brain dump, I can't think. Let's go maybe um, like a more vintage color. Okay, let's do that. Let me get a darker colored ink. And I am trying to stay in frame. I promise. I promise. I promise. I just, yeah. I get lost and see. Okay, so do I get to add 15 minutes back on since I'm having to ink this one little thing? I mean, that should, that's, that's going to take up well. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need 10 more minutes because I had to ink this on camera. Man, I'm, I'll try and get I'll try and get it anywhere I can right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, and I know everybody's probably saying, yeah, Betty, that's obvious. Quite obvious, I know. So, you know what? I'm going to go with... 
another sheet of this. I'm going to go with like one of these. This is like the, um, it's like a piece of music paper. Because I really don't want to bulk up this too much just in case. Just on that slight chance that I actually do like them when I get done with them. And that I want to use them. I think I'm, you know, I need to not bulk it up that much. So, just in case, I do decide, hey, I like that. I want to put it in one of my journals or one that I'm selling. Yeah, so I got to think about that. Because, you know, you never know. Miracles do happen. I, I might could actually like it. Yeah, I'm just, I, I know. We're all the hardest on ourselves. I get that. I really do, but... I don't know. Sometimes I have difficulty seeing things. Um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I mean, it's not that, it's that great, wonderful thing, but I am just trying to do this a little bit. And maybe go there. And do we want a word or a number on that? Let's go with something different. All right, Betty Renfrew, you really don't have a lot of time to be slacking off here, sister. So you need to get your butt on the road and get you something. Okay, we're just going to go with one of these little labels here. These are not yet in the store uh, in my Etsy shop. Oh, huh, imagine that. There's a 23. Huh. I'm just going to have to use it, guys. I mean, it's just, what can I say? I mean, it's just, look, it was just like glaring at me. Yeah, I mean, it was saying, use me, use me. I have to, you know? When it's so obvious that it was there. Okay, so maybe I scanned a little bit to see if I had it. <laughs> but then it become obvious that it was there. Yeah, after I scanned it to look. Now I'm just trying to debate, do I want to take the time to actually cut out the stamp area, or do I just want to ink it? And, yep, good idea. I think we're just going to ink it, since y'all know it's going to take me forever to actually get this thing completed. Oh man, look at this. I, this is not my normal ink. I don't even know what it is. Brushed corduroy is that how you say it i can't even say it yeah that's a dark but it'll hide my mistakes maybe yeah. okay okay why didn't y'all tell me betty Renfro, you need to glue all of this stuff down first sister friend I don't know where you think you were going, girlfriend. See? I was getting all excited. Thinking I was getting this done. Only to realize I left out a major step. But the good news is I realized it now. Instead of after I had already glued that down. Okay, well I'm at three. I'm a little proud, maybe a little bit proud. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it, yeah. Feeling a little better. A little bit better. Let me see if I can find something to go with another darker type color. Well, I guess we can go back with another one of those little roundy circle, circle circles. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I need to do something a little different than what I've already been doing. Um, okay. Let's see. What about if I put a piece of this music paper? I'm going to go ahead and ink it up because I'm going to act like it's going to work. We're just going to see. What if I put that down? And then I know that I have a book in here. 
But this is some of my stuff that will soon be in my store. I'm just waiting on some more to come in. Okay, what about if we put one of these down? All right, I don't need to spend a lot of time trying to make a decision like I'm doing because I know I have one that has mushrooms in it and that's the one I want. Well, poo. Okay, so I may have to put one of these down. I really wanted the um, mushroom one. I must have left it in the box. Okay, so we'll go with the flower. It'll work. We'll figure something out. Uh, let's go with this one. It's the first one. We're going to go with it. Now, I'm just going to kind of, I'm not really going to fussy cut it. Maybe I'm just kind of like going to act like it just so that it don't look quite as bad. But I'm afraid if I tried to tear it, it would like really booger it up. Like this isn't boogering it up. But anyway, I think it'll be a little better at least. Yep. Oh, guys, how much time do I have? I know I don't have it much. And then it probably didn't help that I decided to go crazy and get something that I needed to cut. But that's how I do things. I overthink things. And... Yeah, I don't know if y'all saw that. I was about to mess it up, so I just right on around it. I didn't even bother with it. Okay, so maybe I am going to put a label. Because it looks a little awkward like that. So I'm just trying to see if I have a small label. If it's not small, we'll make it small. And we're going to cut out Explore. And we're going to make it small. Yep. That's one reason why I like these labels that have the different um, borders around it. Because you can actually make it the label um, to whatever size you need and it look okay. That's why I try to do the ones like that. Yep. Okay. Now I'm just going to ink this a little bit. I'm going to need to ink that flower up a little bit as well. I can do it without tearing it. Well, I'm getting some ink on my thumbs if I'm not getting ink anywhere else. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to put this down. All right, Melina, I am hurrying like you told us to do. And girlfriend, I'm still not going to get this done. Yep. There are just some things in life I have to accept. And this is one of them that I am not good, so great at this. But it's fun. I have to say it got me out of my little comfort zone. Which we would all need to get out of our comfort zone at times. That's for sure. Um, because we'll get in our little comfort zones and then we don't grow when we stay in our comfort zones. So for that, I am very thankful that Melina has got me out of my comfort zone and is making me grow. Although somebody didn't get me out of my comfort zone whenever I was growing up because I got to this height and that's where I stayed. So yeah. Folks, get out of that comfort zone or else you'll end up short like me. You know what? I wonder if I can use this in, as two separate pieces. Let's try that. Let's see if I can use this little piece. I'm not going to tear that side because I don't want to waste any of the paper. And then I'm going to try to see how I can fussy cut this. And this is honestly, this is how my digital paper collections, this is how I create them. 
it's just like, oh, wait a minute, let me see if I can do this. And then I just kind of run with it. I never, ever knew. I never start out doing a um, paper collection um, with the end in sight. I don't have a clue most of the time what I'm going to do. Um, most of the time it is literally me flying by the seat of my pants. Um, and then when I get in there and I start working on it, um, then it'll kind of start coming together. And I'll say this too, um, many times um, a kit of mine, a digital kit of mine does not start out together. Um, I may work on one kit or one page and then um, not mess with anything even similar to that again for a while and then all of a sudden I'll just sit down and I'll just be in that mood and I'll just, I'll, you know, turn it out. And then there are some that I have done that would, I would mean to go in one kit and then when I start looking at it and putting the kit together, I'm like, wait a minute, this looks better in this kit. Um, so yeah, I've done that a lot of times. I'm curious, I know I'm wasting time looking to see what my time is. Oh, I still got five minutes. Wow, okay. I'm a little impressed. I really am. Yeah, so my stuff does not always, you know, you just never know how it's going to turn out. Um, I can assure you, though, that there's not a single kit of mine has ever started out with me thinking in my head that I wanted it a certain way. Just doesn't happen. I just, uh, and it, and it really, I have found that my mood definitely determines the themes of my own kits. Um, the other day when work was so crazy, I, um, come home and started working on, um, oh, I, in fact, the video is here on, um, YouTube. I started doing like a create with me or something like that. And I looked and I realized, okay, so maybe I'm feeling a little blue because I was doing everything blue. And I just thought it was so funny. And so I just, I, after I got done with that video, I just, I put that up. I got that on my, the bottle instead. Of, I put that up and then I just, um, I worked on the, um, the Daisy's add-on kit because it was such bright colors. And so, um, I figured, you know, I can either continue to work on the blue and might be blue, you know, f feel like I'm blue down, whatever, or, um, I could work on the daisies kit that had the, um, all the bright colors and it might help me feel better. And so I do stuff like that. Um, I do try to pay attention to different things, um, whenever I have a bad day or I'm feeling bad. Um, I do try to be aware, um, and whenever I'm aware, then I try to pick myself up, you know? Sometimes I'm the only one that's going to be able to pick myself up, and so I kind of go with that motto. I think there's a scripture in the Bible, and it says, cleanse yourselves of all filthiness, um, and I have taken that literal, you know, I know, I know that God helps me through everything, but I also know that there comes a point that he expects me to do something. And you know what? I forgot about these little William Morris cards. These would be so cute. One of these would. Let me get one that'll, I want to get one that's going to, I don't want it to really blend in. But at the same time, I don't want it to, like, stand out. So, I think I'm going to do that. Like that. Maybe the little William. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
and then I will put a, um, a little word on it and this will be my last one on here because I'm sure my timer is getting close to being done. But, so with that being said, before my timer does go off and I'm finished, Melina, thank you so much for challenging me. Um, it was definitely a challenge, but you know what? So sometimes we need to have challenges so that we can grow. Um, if we get comfortable in what we are doing, then we don't grow. Um, so I am very thankful for the challenge so that I could get out of my comfort zone. And like I said, I definitely had to get out of my comfort zone, but you know what? It didn't kill me. Nope, not at all. Um, it was actually quite enjoyable. And I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to halfway do it. Honestly, I thought I would be done with like um, maybe two. <laughs> I'm being very honest. Yeah, I was, I was hoping I could get two done. So I will have, what, five? One, two, three. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'll have six done. Okay, yeah. Well, there we go. I will have six done. That makes me real happy. So, anyway, I, let me take a look at, well, let me get this, let me just get this on before I go jump in the gun. See, that's what I do. My OCD, ADHD mind just kind of, oops, there's a squirrel. That's kind of how I craft. <laughs> yeah, I will craft. And it's just crazy. Okay, so let me take a look. I'm, I think I'm probably, uh, yep, that's it. And you can't hear it, but it's going off. It's very, okay. No, I just hit restart. No, I don't want to restart. Okay, well, guys, I believe that's it for me. Um, I did enjoy. I did get six of them made. I actually like them. And I will have a picture at the back of this video. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for the, the photo. Um, and leave me a comment. Let me know your honest opinion. Even though I want you to tell me how beautiful they are and how tall and skinny I am and how young I look. You know, sometimes just be honest with me. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, and Melina, thank you again for challenging us. I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.